I have such a funny piece of video here for you of a lobbyist who claimed that pesticides were safe to drink a particular pesticide and then ha was offered to drink some. And of course, he turned it down, saying that would be a really stupid thing to do. This is Dr. Patrick Moore. He's worked for pesticide manufacturers like Monsanto, and he was arguing that a particular pesticide was perfectly safe to drink. I'm going to play the video for you. This is just such a PR bungling nightmare. It's it's stunning that a PR guy actually said something like this. They're usually very good at not getting themselves into these types of situations. I'm so wound up by this, Lewis, that I just punched my microphone. Uh, let's look at the video because this is just amazing. You can drink a whole quart of it and it won't hurt you. It's, yeah, uh, it, you want to drink some? We have some here. I'd be happy to, actually. But you, not not really, but not really. I know it wouldn't hurt and me. If, if, if you say so, I have some glasses. No, no, I'm not to... stupid. Ah, OK, so you 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 No, but I know so that, it's dangerous. I right? know. I know people try to commit suicide no, with no, it and no, fail no, fairly regularly. Tell the truth. It's, it's not dangerous, dangerous to, to humans. No, it's no. not. So are you ready to drink one glass of no, glyphosate? I'm not an idiot. Interview me about golden rice. That's did, what I'm talking did, about. Did. OK, then it's except, finished. Except, except then the interview is finished. That's a, that's a good way to solve things. Yeah. You're a complete jerk. It's probably not a good claim to make, even if it's true, right? Best case scenario, you get mocked like this. And worst case, you end up drinking a glass of pesticide. I think the, the proper route to go would uh, would have been to try and explain how this does not harm people if it's uh, on or used in conjunction with the plants and vegetables we're talking about. But uh, you're just setting yourself up for a, a big fall with this one. And I love how he, he argues as evidence that this is totally safe to drink, that people regularly fail to commit suicide by drinking it. So it must be safe. This is incredible. And uh, I watched it multiple times because it's just so great. And to think that this guy used to work for Greenpeace. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, this guy used to work for Greenpeace. And this entire incident reminds me of when Thomas Midgley Jr. made similar claims about the total safety of leaded gasoline. And uh, it also didn't go particularly well. You can look that up just to get the science of it on the record. Roundup weed killer probably has carcinogens in it, not at the highest level of carcinogenic risk, but it contains a probable carcinogen. That's the science of it, according to the United Nations.